Yeah, you take one. Cool. Okay, thanks for all for uh, taking some time out to speak to uh, Devil Gate Media. We really appreciate it. And Happy New Year. Happy yeah. New Year. Now, I know Dave says it's slightly different. Um, <laughs> how, do you, how did you go about celebrating your New Year? Uh, I went to Wales and just had a very irresponsible time. <laughs> that sounds good. And then I went home and fixed all our equipment where the uh, people at the airport had not been so gentle transporting it back. So that I had to work through that, which is like the kind of hangover that they write epic song and verse about. <laughs> Tiny screws and it was awful. I missed 2015. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to London, did some drinking there. Yeah. It's about nothing special. I just stayed in and ordered food. <laughs> it's pretty good. I, I didn't even watch like any of the things that were happening in London. I think I watched Family Guy on BBC Three like you just normally would. <laughs> so if you get delivery, it's really quick on New Year's. It really New is. Year's Day, no fucking chance. Huh? Right. New Year's Eve. I think it was estimated on Just Eat at like 45 minutes and it was there 20 minutes later. <laughs> they send you like consolidation guy and like, sorry friend. <laughs> My New Year's was really boring. I was religiously practicing the song Shmoney Record. I'm sorry. What's up? Who is it? He's busy. <laughs> Doing an interview, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, the ladies, they can't get enough of Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do any New Year's resolutions you've gone for them? No. Absolutely not. Uh, no. I don't believe it. You one. shouldn't have to wait till the beginning of the New Year to do it. Just yeah. do it. So, like, January's hard enough. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I always find like any time I break a promise to myself, it is devastating. So why set yourself up to fall like that? That's very Homer. <laughs> Don't try; you'll just fail. Exactly. Yeah. If I never yeah. attempt anything, I will never be any more disappointed than I am already. I see what you mean. I uh, set one and broke it already. Well, there you go. That was a mistake. Uh, now, just just to, before we move on, just to get on the, the Christmas theme, what's your best and what is your worst Christmas present you've ever had? Mm -hmm. Go right back, kids who must have been serious devastations at some point. This year, I got meat, like a slab of meat that I've just remembered <laughs> I haven't dealt with. It's not out, is it? <laughs> I'm not, I can't remember. It was part of a two part present, but it was excellent to open it, and then I got this book about like curing it. I was like, cool. And now I just have meat. <laughs> that was pretty good. That's but pretty, then it's also, real. if I haven't put it somewhere like the fridge, it has gone from being a really great present to being the worst present yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't even think of worst. I'm not sure what worst would be. I mean, best Christmas present. I mean, the past two years I've got like diamond jewelry, so that's pretty fucking cool. Good yeah. Good phrase. <laughs> the worst is when someone gives you money and you have to spend it on gas and electric. <laughs> that's a sad <laughs> boxing day. You should then have gas and electric. It's a good way to look, to at, look at my meat in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, when you're a kid getting like socks and stuff for Christmas present. I love <laughs> socks now. I, I have no socks. Awesome. I've got some brand new Calvin Klein. Like, still in the box. Like still like box fresh in my bag. I'm like, oh, I'm, so brand new I'm so happy. I've got brand <laughs> I'd love socks. <laughs> it's weird. Right? I still think they're shit. How, how, <laughs> how things change. <laughs> it's a tour essential. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Socks otherwise. My you best present on the definitely uh, my main guitar now. Yeah. 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 Uh, Is that the Gibson? Yeah. My, I've had a Gibson Les Paul given me for present. Christmas. Right? That's pretty good, right? <laughs> That's not bad, yeah. Right, on the serious stuff. Um, the label's put together a hell of a bill for this too. Um, That's me. <laughs> no, thank I you. am I the did label. <laughs> now, apart from William, which I'll touch on later, mm -hmm. did you know any of the guys already? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're all friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's you the nice stop. thing about being DIY, you only have to hang out with people you like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been any of them friends for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So it's him. a good tour then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man, it's yeah. gonna be great. Also, I never found I've never really been on tour before, so yeah. I'm, gonna keep I'm retrospectively shape. jealous of them. Like, <laughs> what a fucking first tour, right? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, they're slaying it. If they were rubbish, this would be awful. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just released Find Hell in your video. Yeah. Um, what's your feedback? Feedback been like? Really good. And how cold was that video? <laughs> <laughs> 
As you can see by the making of, we're all in blankets. Yeah. It's just room. We can't afford a snuck soap machine, so we just have to <laughs> dial in the cold. And Jim's vape. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can drag on the vape, big old fake smoke. The feedback's <laughs> been like, weirdly positive. Like, nobody, nobody, nobody has been like, you guys are a bunch of faggots who should die. <laughs> yeah. Which is just quite off to what we get. <laughs> yeah, people, it's a fucking meme. Yeah. <laughs> and they just even like they were so ambivalent towards it that like, I'm not even going to bother telling them that actually suicide is a viable option. <laughs> In which case, that's unfortunate. It's nice to provoke a reaction. We yeah. won. We did get one, page. which was uh, what was his zero Celtic cross references. Yeah, yeah, but that was funny. I like stuff. Sorry, there, there, there was, there was a, a negative compliment. There was a not my cup of tea, <laughs> but you can't hate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we're going to put on the album as a review, I hope. Yeah. It's a bit of a gear, isn't it? <laughs> It'll do, man. We've had some horrendous things said, so that's pretty good. Usual shit is always the same, though. It's always yeah. like knock off AFI or yeah. trying to be Black Belt Brides. And it's like, have you even listened to us? Yeah. Yeah, You're going purely like, on the aesthetic the when the aesthetic isn't even. Yeah. And like aggressively either. homophobic stuff. It's yeah. like, perhaps the lady doth protest too much. <laughs> An awful lot about gay people considering how much they seem to hate him. I don't know. Fuck him. You see, uh, there's no even going to look into it. It's not really mm. worth it, is it? No. Um, now, where did the whole idea for the horror cult come from? Uh, I think it's... I think it kind of ties in with, like, we don't really have any casual followers of the band. Like, the people who are really into it. And then they're part of That's the mission, it, really. part of the crew. Yeah. The fucking horror cult. Part of the ship. Part of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> yeah, the horror cult, it's not like, it's not like a fans band separation, like we're one unit and we're coming for you, Catholic Church. Wow, no. Wow, Yeah, dude, also that ties in nicely with all the shit that we like, like, fucking black, black comedy, black humour. <laughs> Horror movies, everything, yeah. black. everything yeah. in black. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Yeah, it's yeah, but it's, it was why it's slightly faded into grey. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a bad grey. Bought <laughs> <laughs> it this colour. Right, cancel the horror code. <laughs> we can't it. stick to our own convictions. <laughs> I mean, is the horror side of it, is that just as much of an inspiration to use as the actual music and your influences? It's certainly what yeah. I have on when I'm doing the post. Yeah, <laughs> We're up at the most, just oh. like, what's the most aggressive horror film we can watch? <laughs> yeah. Meat Grinder. That's a pretty aggressive horror film. <laughs> also, I'm a big fan of, like, truly terrible found footage films. Yeah. yeah. And there's enough yeah. There's a lot of your entire life. You're, you're easier picking the good ones than the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I find a good one, I'm like, okay, but I was, I was after some shites. <laughs> kind of let me down here. And I've done nothing all day while I've been watching you. <laughs> Um, what, what was it like to work with all your control during, the, during the, the actual album? Was it? Um... Well, we've done it three times now, and this was definitely the best because we did it at his studio, so we were able to work on whatever schedule we wanted, which was 24 hours a day for a yeah. while. <laughs> uh, he could smoke wherever he wanted, which doesn't affect me, but last time we were in the studio, fucking Matt from Fuel for a Friend snitched on us for smoking indoors. <laughs> <laughs> No. I forgot about that. Yeah. No, I'd never forget. <laughs> Did you get grounded? <laughs> we got in trouble. Yeah. That's what I fucking hate about doing anything. Like, <laughs> studios are so expensive, and we're there, and I. to then get like a passive aggressive note, like, fuck off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like we were tapping ash into the control desk. It was, it was raining torrentially in this little cupboard. Actually, I'm not even that mad about it. That was just a, that was just a nice little anecdote. I think you are, that's, that's <laughs> Maybe. It's all good Beyond news now, Graham. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the, how did you, is he still come across, obviously, your two of them, your friends with him as well? Yeah. Is it a different, you know, is it shut the door, he's in the studio, he's a different person, or no. is it just exactly the no, same? Will's yeah. Will. Will. Right. Yeah. He's one of the most genuine well, people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why he's such a good producer. Like, I'll uh, sit and I'll like, fucking write a bunch of lyrics, and then he'll take a nap and then he'll come back and like, what did you do? I'm like this, and I'm like, okay, good, bad, 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 bad. <laughs> These are not lyrics, these are just some words you want to paint because you think you're an artist, <laughs> this bit's good. <laughs> <laughs> and you just take it on the chin and go, yeah, I do, you know because about, I really like his songs. Like, working with a producer whose work I don't enjoy, I would find very difficult. Yeah. Extremely <laughs> ego-driven, so. Can you write a song? 
Yeah, <laughs> so the fact that I know that he can write and he seems to know what's best for a song, and also it's good to have that external filter. Like, imagine if Melancholy and Infinite Sadness had had a producer at the helm who wasn't afraid to tell Billy Corgan no. Yeah. That would be the greatest record of all time, <laughs> as opposed to the greatest record of all time divided over two discs and intersected with nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and as much as it's good to get out of the box, obviously to do a tour straight out in January, um, you still are supporting. What are you? Are you going for your own tour this year? Are you? This is actually plan? our second support tour ever. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants to give them to us. We think that they will now. We can't ignore us anymore. But um, we just we're just doing headline tours around the UK for years, just building up the following the old school way. Yeah. Which I think is good. It's definitely the way to do it. But we're hoping, <laughs> yeah, we're hoping that this year we get to go out. We've actually started getting some offers for the first time ever, which uh, we couldn't do anything. <laughs> but it is great to be asked. <laughs> so yeah, I think maybe come support tours, and then I think we want to do a headline one maybe six months from now, maybe a little later, to kind of see where we are and show everyone what we've done. Because you take gradual steps yeah. when you're doing everything yourself. You get to go out on those support tours, you get to expose to new audiences. Do we have to play soon? Um, 20 minutes. Ah, cool. Yeah, I think that you can take some big, big jumps when you're out with other people. And uh, then you get to dramatically be like, and now headline tour, and we get to step up to those next levels of venues. I hope. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or maybe back down where we're comfortable. <laughs> back into the basement. Back to the floor show. Yeah. yeah. Like every show's sold out. We're not advancing at all. Take me this all day. Actually, 15 minutes. <laughs> what, what about the festivals? Do you get any of those lined up? I mean, uh, hope so. I'd really yeah, like yeah, to do it's that. what we really, really, really want to do next. next. So, like, especially over summer, because like, touring really winds down over summer in the UK because of the festivals. We've got so many good ones. And uh, we're hoping to get some. I mean, the timing's right. We've got an album coming out. Like, we're not terrible. We're nice people. <laughs> I can cook eggs in 18 different ways. <laughs> I can play a show with what I suspect might be food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I felt over the last couple of days. Um, this is not good. Oh, yeah. We're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Go we'll die, die in the end. <laughs> That's true, sooner or later. Yeah, we'll catch up with you. I'm trying to get <laughs> dark. We were having fun. Quick, switch the lights up. <laughs> <laughs> right, just to finish off, obviously, as I get going on soon, um, just in a lighter mode as well, and along the horror lines, if you could pick any uh, character out of a horror movie yourselves to play, who, who would you do? Who would you like to go for? Oh, could I, could I pick a serial killer instead? You can go for whatever. I'd like to pick Richard Ramirez. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's, he's what, for, for you to play as? You could be him. Yeah. Oh, for yeah. you to actually be that yeah. person in the film. Oh, yeah. Pinhead. Yeah. yeah. Although I don't know if I'd ever be as good as uh, Doug, but um, I think Halloween is probably my favourite. But I think I'd have to go with my second favourite to actually play because I think it'd be a lot more fun, which is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But you wouldn't want to get your shoes dirty. Your running would you be. You can run someone else's shoes. <laughs> I would uh, like to be turn up on a film set I wearing think, your own clothes. Yeah, I don't, I don't think leather face will wear some white Nikes, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a sick Nike. Oh. Or like skin oh. made Nike. I, I thought I'd yeah. inject my own take on the character, it's got a glittery mask on it. <laughs> it's fabulous. And yeah. I think that I would just like to be anyway involved in the alien films. Yeah. Mm. I thought we were going to be Jack the Ripper. Jack the Rapper. I would like to be Jack really? the Ripper and Jack the Rapper. I know you. <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah, alright, I'll be Jack the Ripper. Crossover film. Yeah. Jack the Ripper in space. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> we thought of it, it's ours. Just go nowhere. Jack versus Xenomorph. You want to be in a film? Or? Yeah, I'd say more Saw just because it just seems so fun. <laughs> no, not, not the, the the killing part, but more the thinking of the traps. Okay, I love yeah. puzzles. <laughs> the killing, it's the killing part. Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.